What's up, everybody? I'm at it again. Washing cases at HEB for on call at uh, midnight. Yep. Hey, at least I got some hot water, though. The tricky part is going to be figuring why this thing is freezing up. The manager said it's done it twice. I guess this is the second time. And I don't think it's very old. It's pretty new. They look pretty new. Don't you think? Let's see. Uh, yep. That MY22, that means it's 2022. It's actually manufacture date right there. And you gotta love it when you got really, really hot water. This shit works great. This case washed out pretty quickly. It only took me like 15 minutes to wash it. Some of the best hot water I've ever used. The power of hot water. And that's it, it's freaking defrosted in like five minutes. I want to make sure that it goes like that. Yes, sir. Like that. Check it out. Right here. 
We got this, uh, we got this thing. See right there? That needs to go in a little hole right there. Yeah, like that. Well, that's what I got in my bag. Gonna have to work. I put the two 516ths that match each other on these. Yeah. So I guess there's no screw that goes there. So you see how that one is nice and vertically level and this one is not. I think that has to do with this bend right there not being a good 90 degrees. Let's see if we can fix it. Pretend that I'm the fan switch and I'm gonna let this get down to like 20 degrees before I turn it on. The fans, that is. It's going. Oh, you bitch. What a bitch. Okay, 40. Now this thing should pull down pretty freaking quick. It's empty. I'm talking like 10-15 minutes, yo. Twenty-six almost. seconds and I'm gonna turn it on we're gonna see that thing go down we're also gonna see a temperature go up right here all right let's do it Oh, 
know, maybe we won't see the temperature go up over here because my damn battery's going dead. All right, I'm gonna put these things back on. So for anybody new watching, or if you don't know, you have to feel air coming through here. If you don't feel air coming through here on these cases, that means it's not working. Unless it's in defrost, of course. Like five minutes in, it's at 19. Let's see if we can find the RDM. If any of y'all know what the RDM is, let me know, because I don't know very much about it. I'm more of a microtherm guy. Okay, so, here's the problem. I think. What we're working on is is right there. It's the one on the top that's not red. You see? Right there. Yeah, that's actually my bad. It's the uh, red one above that one. This is the RDM. They are switching from microthermal. You see? This is microtherm. And a lot of the stuff is offline. My case isn't even there. Or maybe it is, maybe it's this one? I don't know. Cause this is where I was getting my water from, right there. Took my hose around, right over here. It's like it's a different, this layout doesn't match what we have over there. Either way, my unit is not on microthermal or the RDM, so we have no way of controlling it. It's running whatever it was probably programmed to last when they took it offline, but right now it's offline. I can't check the history of it. I can't do anything with it. It's, um, it's offline. Now, I ended up staying for a while there after um, because the case would just not get colder than the 25 degrees. So what I did was I got into the settings of the controller like this to get into the parameters and the PO1 is going to be the cut-in temperature. And then we go to PO2, and that's how you set the differential. So that's how we control the case. And even though it was set at negative 8 with a differential of 1, it would still not get below 25.5. And, and it was staging off. So after several hours of talking to my lead technician, figuring out what to do and trying different things, I just ended up calling it a night at like 3 a.m. So, unfortunately, that's where this one kind of ended. And since it was offline and I couldn't get into the history or see anything with the RDM, uh, we just ended up scheduling to go back. So, I'll let you guys know what I find uh, when I follow up, if I'm the one that goes back. I'm not sure if they'll send me back, but uh, that's it for this one, y'all. Appreciate y'all watching, and I'll try to get some more uploaded as soon as possible.